A question that's come up a number of times on this channel is, am I now reliant on this extra oxygen? And will my health decline if I stop? So maybe you've been doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy for a period of time, and now you're enjoying the many benefits that come with it. Or maybe you haven't tried it yet, and one of the reasons is that you're nervous that once you start doing hyperbaric oxygen, you become more reliant on it, and you're concerned in order to maintain your health over time, you have to continue to do hyperbaric forever. In this video, we're gonna discuss that in detail and answer those questions. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is an inherently safe therapy and provides a number of people a wide variety of benefits. If you've watched any of my other videos on this channel or you've ever seen me lecture, or if you've taken my courses, you know that hyperbaric oxygen, in my opinion, is not the treatment or the cure for anything. Why do so many people benefit from hyperbaric? Simply because we are delivering a much higher quantity of a required ingredient necessary for normal cell function, and even more necessary for improved performance or tissue repair and regeneration. It is most certainly not required to have an issue in order to use hyperbaric oxygen or reap the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen. In fact, I promote and even use it myself for overall wellness, and it's a foundational tool for me and for many other people to maintain and improve my health. Most of the incredible benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy are not a result of each individual session as much as a result of continuous exposures over a period of time. It's the cumulative effect of hyperbaric overtime that really allows a person to reap the most powerful changes and most powerful benefits of this therapy. In order to get that level of cellular change, it is most certainly a significant time commitment as well as a relatively significant financial commitment. And the overwhelming majority of people who put in the time to get that amount of exposures are pleasantly surprised and in some cases shocked at how much change they see and feel. Often once people experience those changes, they want to stick with it, at least for a period of time, because they're really enjoying how that shows up in their life. But eventually the question comes up, do I need to keep doing this forever? Do I need to keep doing this at this frequency for the rest of my life in order to feel this way? If I stop hyperbaric, will I lose these benefits? Will my health decline or even decline past the point of the baseline that I started with? Will I be worse off now that I've stopped hyperbaric? It is most certainly reasonable to have those thoughts and those concerns. Likewise, for somebody that hasn't even tried it yet, but they're just thinking ahead. Wow, if I do this therapy and I get those benefits, is it something that I need to do forever? To really best answer those questions, I want to compare hyperbaric oxygen to exercise because I think most people understand those pathways relatively well. So if I've never exercised a day in my life and I begin an exercise program, I should likely start to see some benefits. The intensity of my workouts at that time should be relatively gentle. And as I adapt to that exercise, I become more resilient and healthier. I then create an image in my mind or a concept of what level of fitness I would like to achieve. And so I create a varied program so that my body continually adapts. In other words, if I did the exact same exercise that I do in step one indefinitely, my body will plateau and the benefits will not be as consistent or obvious. So we understand with exercise, varied programs are really the key to maximize the time you spend with exercise in your life. As I'm reaching that level of fitness that I had in my mind, one of two things happen. I reach it. I'm very happy with it and now I'm looking to maintain it, or as I'm approaching it, I realize I'm capable of even more. And so I just push that goal out a little bit further. I continue to modify and vary this program to now reach even higher levels of fitness. If I was happy with that level of fitness and I just wanted to maintain it, the intensity and the frequency and duration of exercise should not be the same that was required to reach a certain level of fitness that it would be to maintain that level of fitness. So it's very likely that I could start to reduce intensity and frequency, however, still maintain some amount of variety and with a reduced protocol or a reduced exercise program, keep that level of fitness for years on end. If I put in all that time and work and I reached whatever this level of fitness was, and then I say, great, I hit that level of fitness, I am never going to exercise another day in my life, what should I expect? not the next day, but over a series of days, weeks, and months, slowly, I will lose some of that adaptation that I gained from those exposures. If I start noticing a loss in my fitness level to a degree that I'm now unhappy with, I could always go back and reformulate a new program to regain that level of fitness again. And once I reach it, I could either continue and try to maintain it, or I could stop, but slowly 
lose those benefits. So how does that relate to hyperbaric? If you're in practice or about to be in practice or you've been in practice, but you're trying to tighten things up and really dial in your hyperbaric practice, we put together a free ebook guide. It gives you some jumpstart tips as well as some checklists to go through to make sure that you have your policies, procedures all rolling in the right direction so that you can have a successful practice. If you're interested in that, click on the link in the description below and we'll make sure we send you to the page where you can learn more and get your free copy of our ebook. First of all, I wouldn't put somebody in a chamber who's never gone into a hyperbaric chamber at the highest intensity available because I don't think it's necessary or even appropriate to overexpose people to hyperbaric. I think you have to build up over time similar the way you would build exercise over time. Likewise, I hope you would stick with your hyperbaric program until you reached some degree of improved health that you were hoping for. And in some cases, you may reach a level of health that you never even knew was possible and now your goals are changing and you want to push your health even further. Or you reach that level of health and you say, this is terrific. I love where I am. I just want to maintain it. Over months and months of exposures of hyperbaric, I think varying your exposures is as important as varying your exercises. In other words, varying the frequency of exposure. Sometimes I did four times a week. Sometimes I did six a week. Sometimes I did two a week. I also took two to three weeks off in between 20 to 40 hour programs to allow my body time to adapt and change just like you would with exercise. And with your varied hyperbaric protocol, you reached that level of health that you were hoping for. Whatever intensity, frequency, and duration that you were using to reach that level of health should not be the same that is required to maintain that level of health. So you should be able to reduce the intensity, frequency, and duration and still maintain most, if not all, of the benefits you found in those initial protocols that you followed. If you did hyperbaric for three months, very consistently reached a level of health and never went back into a chamber, not immediately, but over time, are you likely to start to feel the loss of some of those benefits? Probably. If you started to lose some of those benefits, are you less healthy than you were at the baseline? Absolutely not. But might you hit a point where you're like, I don't want to feel this way. I don't need to feel this way. And hyperbaric was a tool that I used to not feel this way. What amount of hyperbaric do I need to start pushing myself back in the right direction. So quickly answering the question of, will my health actually decline to a point lower than my baseline starting point? I don't think that that's possible. And unlike exercise, some of the changes and benefits that result from repetitive hyperbaric exposures are very long lasting and, and maybe even almost permanent. Examples would be hyperbaric stimulates angiogenesis or new capillary growth. Once you've grown new capillary beds, those are not going to disappear. You've established new highways of carrying blood, oxygen, and other nutrients to and from the cells and tissues. And once those are there, they will stay there. Collagen formation and fibroblast formation that would help improve the integrity of your ligaments, your muscles, your cartilage, or help you repair from previous surgeries or injuries that you never healed from properly. Those changes would practically be permanent. If you were just using it for a very specific injury and that injury is now healed, when you remove hyperbaric, you should not regain any of that injury. It should be healed. But some of the other changes like the reduction of inflammation or all the mitochondrial and energy benefits of hyperbaric, those you're likely going to lose over a period of time. So do you become reliant on hyperbaric? Only as you realize what being healthier could look like and feel like, and then drawing a new line in the sand that you don't want things to be the way they were. There's no physical reliance. There's no real withdrawal symptoms. This is not a drug that we're developing a dependence on. However, when you start to realize how life could be, you will want to keep it as part of your life because you've developed a new standard for how you want to live and what your quality of life ought to be. So hopefully this gives you a much better understanding of the possibility of relying on hyperbaric or the potential for declining health if you were to stop hyperbaric once you achieved a certain level of health. Ultimately, with hyperbaric, like any other tool that you might use in your longevity strategies or healing strategies, it's up to you. How far do you want to take it and how long do you want to stay there? And then developing a plan that supports that exact goal. As always, thanks so much for your time and attention, and we'll see you on the next video. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way. And that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.